Hey YouTube, how are you guys doing today? Today is Tuesday, July 27th. I hope you guys are having a great start to your week and having a blessed week. As y'all can see, I still have my clothes and I'm going to leave them in till, um, till this Saturday, this approaching Saturday, which is the 31st. And I'm going to do my hair into uh, um, a mohawk. I'm going to cornrow the sides and have a chunky twist out at the top. And I'll let y'all see that. Um, so be posted up on the up and be patient for that. And um, I wanted to talk to y'all today about how your relationship with the important people in your life, how they, um, how it reflects the relationship that you have with God. Now, I know a lot of people aren't religious out there, but I know a lot of people are. So I'm specifically talking to you guys, you guys that are religious. So if you're not religious, disregard this video for the most part then, but you can keep watching. But um, I was, my pastor actually mentioned this in his sermon the other day, and he was talking about how the people that are important in your life, it reflects a relationship that you have with God. And I really thought that was interesting how he incorporated everything together and how he was saying it. He brought, he was talking about how like not just family relationships, but also relationships with your spouse and relationship with your significant other. And I thought it was really cool the way he just weaved it all together and just lumped it up in a sermon. And um, I really think it's true. And I think it is very, very, very true. It's, it's, it's very true guys it's very true and the reason why i think it's true is that because if your relationship with god is strong and he is providing for you with fruitful gifts and you you guys have a heart-to-heart -heart moment daily and he knows your heart inside and out he knows your soul he knows your mind and you allow him to get to know you better in a different way Therefore, there shouldn't be any problem with um, communicating with those that you consider to be important around you or those people that you love around you. And there shouldn't be any complications. Uh, usually people, some people would say, oh, just because you have a good relationship with God doesn't mean that um, the relationship with the people that you love is always going to be good. Well, if you're not, if you don't have a strong relationship with the people that you truly love, you need to have an outer person experience, look at the situation, and then really look and examine on what's happening. And then if you still can't be able to determine what's wrong and how you can better the situation, that's where you take it to a higher level and you talk to God about it and you ask him, to strengthen your spirit and strengthen your soul and strengthen your mind so that you can be able to connect to that person and that there's less bickering and less arguing and that you guys are just having a blessing relationship overall regardless if it's a family member or it's a spouse and i really think that my pastor touched on point like so perfectly when he was talking about that and i really thought it was a beautiful sermon but that's all I wanted to come at y'all with today is that remember that the relationships that you have with the important people around you and the people that you love reflect your relationship that you have with God. So if you have a strong, fruitful relationship with God, you should have you shouldn't have a problem having a strong, fruitful relationship with those that you love and that are really close to you and that you consider to be important within your life. And that's about it y'all oh i'm going to new york next monday so i'll let y'all know how i like it there because it'll be my first time going there but other than that thank y'all for rating thank y'all for subscribing and thank y'all for commenting and rate subscribe and comment once again all right y'all peace